That smells good in here. I love this food. What's going on, everybody? How are we? Good. Did y'all get tired yet? Yeah, I can see it. You look good. Y'all look beautiful, but beautifully tired. All right. Yeah, I will. I can. I uh, actually did a 15-minute stand-up thing for the Kayla Fan Awards last year, and uh, I'll say I took off and I landed the plane. I just don't know if it was funny at all the entire time. <laughs> so, and it was like a midnight thing, so no one was wanting to lie. They were like, dude, we're tired. Why are we here? Can you talk some about days that we dreamed of that released in August? Maybe some of what inspired that record and message to listeners. Yeah, my beautiful bride who's here with me uh, tonight. We were sitting on the back porch, um, which we do every night. It's our time to catch up. You know, you don't always have to go on a date night to Applebee's. Sometimes you can just hang at the house. And, um, if, I've got four kids, 19, 17, 12, and six. And so if you come out on that back porch, after 8 o'clock, you better need the emergency room because that's me and mom's time. And uh, one night she goes, you know, babe, I think that we're living in the days that we dreamed of. And for those of y'all that don't know my story or our story, um, we were 17 when we found out she was pregnant. And we celebrated 20 years of marriage this July. Yeah. It's all her doing. I'm telling you that. Um, and when we started off at 17, we had different dreams, you know. And when she said that, usually you think of something like that, you think of something with money attached. You know, once I get this job, once I get this car. And the way she said it made me go, yeah, we have older kids that work in our church, a house that loves the Lord, a moral compass, and a family that wants peace in this world, you know. And so that's what you dream of and that's what you hope for. So that, that inspired the entire record. was so key 20 years of marriage and um, I just want to ask because you are someone who is in the limelight and of course fame award shows things like that 20 years of marriage is commendable talk about how important it is to place marriage on the forefront your wife on the forefront not let it get lost within career and business and things like that for you um, I think it's just balance, honestly. I turned down a uh, spring tour that I was just offered because I'd rather uh, coach T-ball. And so, you know, some of my choices, I wouldn't say are the sexiest of uh, like, ooh, he got this tour, or ooh, he got, you know, like you might see sometimes. Um, I'm, I'm about my family first, and it's Jesus, my, my family, and then this career. And if one day God goes, that was the last day you ever step up on. I'm cool with that whenever he goes to the door. Um, but also, like, I only go out for two weekends a month, if that. And so I try to limit, like, does this show move the needle for my career? If it does, we'll go do it. If not, we'll, we'll stay home. And so, and then, honestly, dating your spouse. Like, you don't want to just, you don't want to just grow old with, with somebody. Like, you want to be able to stay, look back and say, live life with that person. And so, um, dating your spouse and, helps with marriage, helps with parenting, helps with my career. So. Stop the music for a second, man. Tell me about your musical influences, man, because you're different. Yeah. Um, I grew up on three Christian bands in my house. And it was Gold City, uh, DC Talk, and Leonard Skinner. <laughs> Anybody else? I can't see anything. If not, I'm going to go eat. Food right there. <laughs> Thank y'all so much.